Oh, sorry I haven't been posting for a while. I've been a bit busy with school. But anyways, <clears throat> some of y'all might remember this. This is my little demo system. However, I added in a small upgrade right there. It's a contactor. I just recently got... Uh, I had my birthday party today. I um, went to Menards afterwards, and I got this. It's like 18 bucks. It's a definite purpose contactor. It's got a 120-volt coil, and is rated for 30 amps, but that's no problem because I'm using AC for standard, so it's only 15 amps. But anyways, the cool thing with this is it makes a nice, satisfying clack whenever I apply power. So we do this, and then we apply power. Really get sucked in, power flows through. And the only problem with the contactor is we can take a pliers and something and manually turn it on. Now, so originally I would have just left this plugged in up here, but then if someone manually pressed this in, this light wouldn't have come came on. So I wired it in through the contactor as well. So now if someone manually presses this in, the light comes on and um again originally this is the main power input wire but um uh so power is going through this wire except it's not coming through unless there's power on the coil which is basically what pulls in these contacts and lets power flow through so this is literally just basically a beefed up relay um but anyways so originally i was going to have the hot input directly through but then i realized that was stupid so i wired it up at the end of the e-stop so now if we hit no if we hit the e-stop the ready light goes out and now if we manually press in the contactor nothing happens so anyways as i was saying now we've got a contactor so we can um switch bigger loads um because these switches here they're a bit small um, and I was kind of worried if I'm, like, blowing up capacitors and stuff that take high loads. I was kind of worried that they would melt. Now that I've got it wired into a contactor, not so worried anymore. And, yeah, I just have the neutrals hooked up here. The coil hot on this side. And I have the indicator light out. Um, power out. And up here I just have these two bridged because um they're both hot wires so it doesn't really matter i'm not actually using real wire this is just christmas light wire and this is like uh no not that one where is it this one here is wire from like a dc transformer so not ideal wire but um it's just this is again just a temporary setup so let me just reset that e-stop real quick all right, I moved the key over from here into here, and I'll see if I can display this on camera. Okay, I don't really have anything to prop up the camera with. Maybe I could use this. All right, right there. Let me just twist it. Then the other things pop back on. So then we can just install the key back into here. And, um... Because this is upside down, just carefully do that. Nice, satisfying click. And you can feel this thing vibrating because the coil is like humming. Let me see if you can hear that. I don't know if you could hear that, but it does very quietly hum. Like, I can't even hear it. You'd have to get your ear right up next to it, which again is dangerous because it's live. But anyways, we can um, disable it. And, um, some people might find this sketchy, but fun fact, the neutral is completely safe to touch. Just don't touch the hot, because that one's going to give you a shock. But yes, neutral wires are perfectly safe to touch. Um, maybe not perfectly safe. Uh, I'm a professional, don't try this at home. Anyways, so yeah, that would just be the upgraded quick demo. I believe this is part three of mega project number one so yeah see ya